All right, welcome everyone. Mark Sergeant again, and uh, we are back with the controllers. And uh, what we already have is this smile controller, so we can just give some happiness and joy and and some uh, okay dots face. Uh, but what what happens if we want to control the Joe with this one? Now, don't forget, right now we are affecting the morpher. So what we do here as we change and we update on the coordinates. Uh, Morpher takes effect, and as you see, the values are already changing. So, when you start moving it, this around, uh, things in the Morpher will update as well. Okay, so I can pin the stack, select this guy here, and as you see, the values are updating. Now, but the gel is a little bit different. So, for first, just let me reset this guy. Uh, don't forget, I'm in parent mode while I'm in move, and what I want is actually I want to take a look at the controls that we already have. Now these type of controls uh, will help us to manipulate and um, and uh, animate the figure. But what if I don't want to use this particular control? I want to drive my bone here and whatever bone I want uh, with the joystick. Okay, because it's a little bit easier, especially if uh, we want to work on the animation of the mouth, the lip sync. So what I'm doing is actually just uh, alt right click and transform to zero. Okay, so closing back the mouth, and uh, what I actually do need is a new controller. Rename this one to make sure that it's visually different, and use the same principles, but not with a morpher with the controlling elements of the bones. So this CNT controller uh, number four Joe, this particular uh, circle will be driven by the controller. So the controller drives this circle and this circle actually drives the bone that we have already. Okay, so that's the logic. But uh, instead of using this uh, zero to 100 value, we will have to use percentage and, and other values. So, okay, now first of all, going on here, and I have to rename this guy, but not as an object, as a an item, so visually add some difference. So, modify panel, and that will be a mood, mood. That's it, and of course, not 100 centimeters, so probably one is enough. Let me zoom in. Okay, I don't want any rendering, so I will turn off rendering mode and drag it to center. No, oh, looks nice. Uh, I don't want to repeat it all the time, so I'll make a copy. Right now, we remember the size, so I don't have to deal with this one. And because this frame and this text are actually belonging together, uh, the easiest if you, if we just link them, but not not really linking it's about attaching so if you have an editable spline and we have it because we created this interior cross uh, we can right click and attach and hit on this mood text and right now this mood text is a part of this uh, model now the pivot point is just displayed wrongly but I'm sure that the pivot point is placed right. Okay, so whenever we move this, all the guys will travel. Okay, so mood is done. Now, just move it away from now, and we need another copy from here because we want to create a Joe. So instantly, we can rename this guy to Joe. Hey, hey, hey. Joe, that will be the Joe controller. Okay, just rename this one as well. So instead of mood, it will be Joe frame. Joe. And no name. Copy it here. This would be controller. Controller. All right. And uh, of course, we can attach this Joe. And if you like, uh, we can place it to somewhere square. So, for example, 27 minus 27. And this one's already 17, so that's pretty nice. 
and this will be our Joe controller. Okay, just checking how it is working. Right, right, okay. We have the limitations set up, everything is fine. It's called Joe, renamed, reset. Is it working? Yes, reset is working. Now, what we do need, we need uh, animation and reaction manager. And actually, we have a movement and we want to connect the movement with uh, this element rotation. Now this becomes a little bit tricky because when we are calling, when we are using this movement to uh, and connect that to this rotation, we have to remember exactly what kind of rotation we are using for. Now to do that, selecting the controller is a good thing. Now the control is selected and I'm moving to rotation mode and here comes the point if I'm curious about the actual elements axis uh, and layout and uh, range so I have to switch to local okay so right now rotation mode in local now here we go if I want to open up the mouth open and close what kind of axis is that that is Z okay I know it is highlighting in yellow so whatever you select that will be highlighted in yellow but when I'm selecting this one this one's originally um, blue but I'm selecting this one and uh, now it shows only one axis and that axis is the Z so when I want to open it up that would be the Z axis now if I want to move it side to side that will be Y axis that would be the green one so Y axis rotation does this okay I know it's extreme but a tiny rotation will be fine so and the last one is the tilting now this tilting we have to be careful with this value because if you give too much that's really a painful stuff and we are not creating a boxing match so uh, just to make a collection so Z axis is opening uh, Y axis is rotating and uh, the X axis is uh, about tilting the gel. Okay, now we have it in mind, and I want to first create the open effect. That's the easiest. So when I move this joystick to the bottom of this frame, I want this gel to be opened. So going back, because right now we are adding a master, add master, this will be the master. What? A transformation what kind of transformation position because I move it to the bottom what axis Y axis because Y axis is as you see indicated here Y axis is the uh, vertical limited yes because I have a plateau I have a limiting end so I'm hitting on limited controller now I have no states because there is no slave yet so selecting the master adding the slave now the slave will be be careful will be the particular control of the Joe I'm selecting that one what I want to control I want to control transformation what kind of transformation it's a rotation a rotation in which direction it will be Z direction is it a frozen one no I don't want to affect a frozen value this is this is my reset what I want is a free floating point that's a zero Euler so when I'm going on a zero Euler then I can select Z rotation and that will be my slave here so as it's done zero and zero represents I have this initial state there's nothing happened here I have to create my action so my action is I'm moving to the bottom and this action affects this particular target and when I'm doing performing this action this target has to create a change that is a opening it will be minus in what if 60 that's a degree <laughs> yeah it's it's quite a strong opening I don't think we need that one uh, a positive value that will be really a harsh closing so what I do have to find is a midway so that will be a minus uh, 30 I guess that's that's fine 
it's quite extreme now 25 minus 25 oh yeah that's that's believable especially if you're moving the neck and tilting the head forward a little bit uh, that could be okay or rotating the head back so this is absolutely believable uh, to be created okay so now just check it if I'm moving up closing so at zero value it is closed when I'm going down it's opening up okay super nice what if I add to the opposite direction a tiny tiny value just to force close the mouth because as you see it's right now it's relaxed so what if I add a five degree for example just to just to close it a little bit more okay what I have to do I have to go back and reset my guy and uh, what happens now I have a zero state I have a slave so just just connect the dots here so when I'm moving the same master that's the same master the same axis uh, I'm affecting the same slave this will be also the Z rotation uh, the only difference is the direction so this time I don't need to create another another new state I don't need to create another slave the only thing I have to worry about is move away the uh, controller selecting the slave and telling him hey when I'm moving to this direction now you have to move to five degrees up and this is what happens so because there is no new master there is no new slave the only thing we changed is the direction so because this is the situation uh, we can use the same state and the state free is nothing else it's just an opposite direction uh, for closing so at zero we are in neutral state and when we are up that's a forced close of the mouth okay it's cool nice so what to do on the X axis so that will be rotating the gel so that will be in the, in this uh, orientation so I'm, I'm moving the cursor so that will be just a, a sideways kind of a rotation now that's a new master and because that's a new master now I definitely have to go back again reset and going in add master select the guy again transformation what kind of transformation it's position and what kind of it's Y I'm sorry X position because that is the horizontal so don't forget you can check the gizmo here in the viewport and position X position and because there is a limitation set up limitation will be used so I'm hitting on and this is the new master there is no slaves yet so there is no state yet guys selected and I'm adding one slave and that slave will be the y-axis of this controller so it's transformation it is a rotation it is a free rotation of Euler and it is on y rotation so it's y-axis right now I have this initial state and the next step is what next step is creating the action action influences this uh, y uh, slave y axis rotation slave and then I have to create a new answer a new reaction so I'm hitting on create state so when it's set to 3 it has to rotate to 15 okay and that's cool that's cool uh, I think 15 is too much so uh, we don't want to create too many overlaps uh, so what if 10 will be enough I guess yep 10 will be enough and we can fine-tune it okay so I will use something later on so but right now I'm satisfied with the 10 value okay it's it's an extreme value but if it's set to maximum it's, it could be okay now what else what do we have to do situation is the same in the previous la uh, session so I have to move it to the opposite and uh, right now I can directly create a new state and opposite will end up in minus 10 okay so now because it's opposite direction of rotation it's minus 10 degrees of the 360 and here we go this is moving this guy is moving now what else 
we can open it up as well so we can chewing something how cool is that what happens if we adding a tilting movement to this as well what when I'm moving to the side to side I also want not just a rotate the gel along the y-axis but I also want rotation along the x-axis and that will be a tilting movement okay so to do that do I need a new master no do I need new slaves yes I need to input the X so what I have to do I have to reset make switch back everything to the center I have this rotation this is the uh, X amount of rotation uh, that's uh, the horizontal so I'm, I was starting with the with the Y and that's for opening the gel now this is the horizontal so I have to add on a new slave and that slave will be transformation rotation of course this time zero order as well and what the last one is X rotation okay now what I have to do I have to check my new states do I have a new state yes I have a new state again okay I have it already here but this this is going with another one so this is the Y rotation a reset zero state this one is the X rotation uh, reset zero state okay so when I move to the right opposite right extremity I want this X rotation to perform a five degree rotation okay so what does it mean when I'm moving this guy to the right direction it's not just rotating it is slightly tilting the gel as well can you see the difference so this one's rotated and tilted this one's just rotated uh, maybe five I can even increase it to seven okay just let me check it so seven is, is even more okay so zero and seven now what I have to do I have to go back to the opposite extremity and make sure that every other value are zero now it's free that's super fine and I will add one mm, thing uh, so this is my action I want my slave to be activated uh, this guy and uh, I want to create a new thing and that is when it's minus three please turn to minus three minus seven as well so now there is a kind of a combination so one joystick one a movement is actually driving not just one axis but two axes at the same time and it's not from zero to 100 it is from zero to positive or negative 10 or whatever degrees so we are transformed a horizontal and, and uh, vertical movement uh, X Y axis into a rotation uh, with some kind of a a, a change uh, in the amount okay so that's it uh, to add more to the move uh, what we can do is to affect these transformation curves and the purpose of that just let me quickly show it here so when you start moving uh, the joystick it will instantly affect the model and sometimes if you want to create nuances if you want to create uh, quite realistic changes it is not it is too sensitive so what you can do is you can select the, uh, the controller itself the, the master uh, and the master shows uh, okay I have a positive direction and I have a negative direction and when I'm at the center nothing happens but instantly when I just minimally just move it away it will jump up and start to perform the movement okay so even if you're just moving it slightly in this um, uh, range it already starts to cranking up the morph chain so what you can do is you can smoothen things a bit by right clicking Bezier corner and uh, it's easier if you just select independently the model uh, the, uh, sorry the slave so right click Bezier corner and put it up same thing here Bezier corner and this is just softening up the curve 
and when you have this curve adjustment and you're selecting the monster now it shows so when when you start moving this joystick the change is not that super instant and drastic so you have some room so to, to tune in and then it will be stronger and it looks much more natural in, in animation if you are using this kind of a change and you don't have to worry that much about keying uh, when you're using this of course you, have, you can use auto key you can use the F curves later on but it's, it's a good thing to adjust uh, these kind of uh, uh, softening uh, curves according to, to the need alright so we used a morph uh, joystick morph controller and we also created a rotation controller for the Joe so this is a two different kind of uh, animals uh, the principles are the same but uh, the connections are a little bit different and we will also create a controller for the eye and also sub controllers for um, protrusion or, or something similar okay so that will be in the next part thank you goodbye